Hi quilters, it's Pam from AccuQuilt. Are you ready for month number three? We're getting ready to make school girls puzzle, but before we start cutting our fabric, a couple of things we'd like to thank our sponsor, Anthology Fabrics, for our beautiful batik fabrics used in the quilt behind me. We'd also like to thank AccuQuilt for our cutting system. Now quilters, remember you can always cut these blocks using your rotary cutter and a ruler. You, we're gonna demonstrate it today using our Go Fabric Cutter. So first I've taken, we have three dies that I've taken from the eight inch cube. The first is die number five, and those are those two half square triangles. Die number three, larger two half square triangles. And die number two is four, one, two, three, four, two and a half inch squares. So you need die number two, three, and five to make this particular block. So let me show you how easy it is to cut with our Go Fabric Cutter. Remember, we can use six layers of cotton fabric at a time. Now your sewing instructions for the block will tell you how big of strips to cut. So be sure and pre-cut your strips. And I'm gonna just put four layers on right now. I've taken two of the gray and two of the maroon colored. Put my cutting mat right on top. Don't worry about this tail, we're just gonna tuck it in. We're gonna turn the handle on the Go Fabric Cutter. Look how easy that is. Remember to take your mat, slide, don't lift. Take away the scraps and look, perfect half square triangles. So now we're gonna cut our squares in that same method. We're gonna take our white and our brown color. We're gonna put four layers even though we could cut six. Put it right here, put the cutting mat on top. You'll notice with our go cutter, you can cut both directions. Slide that mat off, don't lift. Pull back the scrap, and ta-da, we've cut perfect squares. Now, in this particular block, we only need one color of half square triangles, so I'm gonna take my scissors, just trim off the edge of my strip. I'm just gonna take this cocoa colored, isn't it beautiful? Put the cutting mat on top. Slide, don't lift. And now we've cut perfect half square triangles. Don't forget quilters, we've cut off those dog ears. So right here, that's a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. All right, get all your pieces cut. Meet me back here and we'll assemble our quilt block. All right, quilters, now that you've cut out all of your pieces, let me show you the easiest way to put together school girls puzzle. First of all, this particular block makes four blocks that are the same color. Remember some of our blocks, we use different color schemes, but this one makes the same. So I've actually made one, two, three blocks, and I've sewn two together to show you how it's gonna to piece together. But let me show you how to put together that block. So first of all, you're gonna take those pretty half square triangles that you cut, you're gonna sew right sides together, and you're gonna to press to the dark side. So in this case, that brown. Then once you make this great little half square triangle block, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on its side and we're gonna add the other half square triangles. Okay? When you sew them together quilters, you wanna to press to the outside blocks right here. Then once you've made this section, it's really easy. It gets sewn right here to one of those half square triangles. So it looks just like this. So again, we're gonna put right sides together. It doesn't matter because we're using batiks. Sew them together, press to the dark side. So we're gonna press to that brown and make two more of these blocks. So look how cool that is, all right? Then we need to make these other little blocks that go right here. So it's that same concept. We're gonna take two half square triangles, put it right sides together, sew them. We're gonna press to the dark side. So in this case, that pretty, pretty maroon color. And then once you've made this square block, 
you're just going to add those squares together just like this to make this block. Now quilters, you want to press, here's the tip, press towards the squares rather than the half square blocks. So press towards the squares, that way when you put them together, those centers, you can twirl them and there won't be a lot of bulk. And again, just like we said before, we're gonna make two of those blocks and let's put them all together to see how it goes. Now I always make sure that I have my pattern instructions with me so that when I'm putting these blocks together, I put them in the right way. It's important to read the instructions so you know which way they are gonna go. It actually is kind of easy to remember because it looks like flying geese right there. And then, we're gonna take that one right there and ta-da. The first block for month three is done. Hang with me, we're gonna come back and do the next block for this month. All right, quilters, you ready to get cutting out your second block for month three? Remember, you can always use your rotary cutter and your ruler. I'm gonna show you how to cut it on our Go Fabric Cutter. So if you're cutting with the Go Fabric Cutter, you just need two dies. Die number five, which have those half square triangles, and die number four that has four quarter square triangles. One, two, three, four. Those are the only two dies you need from your eight inch cube. So first, let's cut our quarter square triangles first. Now, we can cut up to six layers of cotton fabric at one pass. So what I've done is actually, since we have to cut all of the shapes, all of the colors, I've stacked these to begin with to cut our quarter square triangles. So I have four layers here. I'm just gonna lay them over our shape. Put our cutting mat on top, tuck in your little tail. Look how fast this is. All right, slide that mat off, don't lift, otherwise the pieces fly everywhere. So look how easy and fast we cut those four quarter square triangles. Next, we wanna cut our smaller half square triangles. So basically these are the two shapes you need to make flying geese. So I'm gonna take, again, I've taken my two other colors. I've stacked them up on one on top of each other. I'm gonna just take my fabric cutter, make sure that my label's at my belly. This is the lengthwise grain through the cutter. All right, slide, don't lift. Pull back the scrap fabric, and ta-da, I've cut half square triangles. All right, quilters, get all your pieces cut. Meet me back here. We're gonna assemble this block. All right, quilters, are you ready to assemble your windmill blocks? Before we start, let me remind you, we've cut four different colors and put together four different blocks using the same pattern. But I want you to look at something here. This particular block and this particular block are made with the same pattern, but look how we've changed the color and it's totally changed the way that the block looks. That's what I love about sampler quilts is that you can have the same colors, the same pattern and have it look completely different. So let's put together this final block that I have here. So the easiest way is always to start with those little half square triangles. So we're gonna put those right sides together in the half square triangles, press them open, you wanna to press to the dark side. That's how we do it there, that way it's gonna lay flat. And then from that, we're gonna turn it on its side. And then we're gonna add these other half square triangles. So see, again quilters, you always wanna make sure you have your instructions nearby so that you know how you're assembling this quilt block. So you're gonna make a unit that looks just like this and again, we've pressed to these outside triangles, so it's gonna lay nice and flat. And I've made one of our units that go into our block. And then this is super simple. These are just the half square triangles. So we're gonna take and put them just like this. Put them right sides together. 
sew that perfect quarter inch seam, lay it open, and again, we're gonna press to the dark side. So you're gonna put this block. See, now look, I gotta watch my instructions here. There you go. So then I would sew those two pieces together in that unit and make a finished block that looked like this. Take all four of my blocks, put them together, and look, what a great job you've done. Congratulations, quilters. We're through windmill blocks and on to our next month. This episode of Batik Sampler Block of the Month has been brought to you by Anthology Fabrics and AccuQuilt.